Van Prepper here again with a quick winter prepping tip. Uh, I live in the Northeast. Uh, for those of you who live in the Northeast or anywhere where it's a really cold environment and you have to drive through snow, where we are right now, it's, it's we're not very much above zero. We did some traveling over the Christmas holidays and uh, just really cold and you have to think ahead. I want to start this video by giving a shout out to somebody that I keep meaning to give a shout out to and I always forget. And I actually uh, got the idea of doing this uh, prepping video uh, through him, a video he had done for the AMFA channel. Uh, his, he is called KBAR User. And KBAR User, a great guy. Uh, his real name is Tom. Excellent guy, does excellent videos. And just a, real, you know, just a, a guy you would want to be subscribed to and, and to have as a friend. So uh, I would recommend everybody please go check out KBAR User. Uh, I'll put a link to his channel in the description. I'll also put another link to the AMFA channel. Excellent group of guys and their channel is uh, for charity so please check them out and watch some of their videos. Um, this video is about winter car prepping because when you're traveling around in conditions like this you may not be going very far and you may think this is there's no chance anything's ever going to happen but to do nothing is to put yourself in a position uh, to be a victim uh, of any kind of circumstances because you've done nothing to prepare yourself and that's what prepping is all about. If you watch my video from a few weeks ago called prepping doesn't mean you're crazy or prepping doesn't make you crazy something like that. That's the whole point of it that we're prepping for real life circumstances and uh, one of the things we do in in both of our vehicles is we have a winter preparedness kit um, in case you know we have three small kids in case you get something where you're off the road you know who knows how it's going to ha what might happen but you want to be prepared in those situations. You don't want to be stuck with no source of heat, no food, no water. You know, who knows how long you might be stuck there. So just a few things to think about to put in your car for the winter. Stick them in your, your uh, 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 yeah, stick them in your trunk and don't think about them again. And you'll probably never use them. But if you do need them, th that's what they're going to be there for. And you'll be so thankful that you did. Uh, we have a small shovel. Um, you can get small collapsible shovels pretty much anywhere, but I recommend going and getting the ones that are, that are you know, some good pointed ones uh, that are better for if you have to dig through some, some hard stuff. Uh, you can get them at almost any Army Navy surplus store, anything. You might need a means to dig yourself out. So get yourself a small shovel, uh, blankets. Now we use, in both our vehicles, we stock what we call, uh, it's neither politically correct nor probably accurate, but we call them Indian style blankets. And we uh, have them, and, and they're small wool blankets. Uh, I recommend having some blankets. I don't care what kind they are. Have some blankets in your car so that you can warm up. You can even get those little uh, space blankets that you know keep your body heat in something to keep yourself warm. A, a small coffee can, matches, and a candle, and some wire, because you can take that small coffee can, rig yourself up a, a, a support system with the wires. Connect it to tie it on to your uh, or hook it on to your um, rear view mirror. You can put the candle inside, light the candle. The candle warms up the can. The can gives off some heat. You've got a small heating source. Remember, you're only trying to heat a small area to keep yourself uh, warm. It's not going to heat you up where you're nice and toasty, but it might keep you from dying. Uh, another thing is some water. Keep a few water bottles or, or a couple of gallons of water. You can keep all this stuff, by the way, just in a box in your trunk. Uh, some food, long-term stored food, food that's, that's high in calories. You're not looking to, to give yourself something to, um, you know, have a, a five-course meal, but a, a jar of peanuts or a couple of jars of peanuts and some candy bars stuck in that box in your trunk could be invaluable. Uh, you know, you need to, you're, you're going to burn through a lot of calories if you're caught in the cold and you're out there and stuck. So uh, another thing is extra socks and gloves, because if you're out there, uh, you have to go outside the car and dig yourself out. You have to go um, try to make your way somewhere. You're going to want some extra socks and gloves so that when those the ones that you have get wet, you can put on dry ones to keep your feet and your hands warm. Uh, another thing, the only two other things we have is I would recommend having a, some road flares. Um, the road flares are awesome for several reasons, not the least of which is they can be a pretty good signal. For if you get stuck somewhere and somebody's coming, you know, you've got search parties out looking for you, the road flares can be invaluable for that. Uh, also, a small toolkit. They sell these things almost anywhere, uh, you know, for like 10 bucks. 
you get them in a small thing about this big, they zip up and they've just, you know, got a whole bunch of things in a, or a multi-tool, you know, which all of you should be carrying anywhere you go anyway. One other thing that we have, you know, I don't know, maybe we're crazy, but we actually keep small, uh, a really small, like a shoe box with kindling in so that we have, if we were in a situation where we had to start a fire, we've got dry, very, very dried out, um, small wood that's that's perfect for just getting the fire started. So you don't have to go through the hard part of starting a fire with wet and cold wood. So those are some things to think about. Please put together um, and think about, spend some time thinking about what your needs would be in a situation if you were stuck in your car in the cold weather, uh, you and your family. And, you know, spend some time thinking about that and planning for that. I'm Van Prepper. Have a wonderful day and happy shooting.